Tonight, a federal investigation confirming that over 100 miners have been working in dangerous conditions across the Midwest. Advocates working with the miners say they're migrants, some as young as 13, working overnight shifts and employed to clean slaughterhouses at 13 different locations in eight different states. In total, 102 miners employed by the company Packer Sanitation Services, or PSSI, the company contracted nationwide with facilities in Kansas, Minnesota, and Nebraska, which were found to employ the most teenagers, according to the Department of Labor. Investigators sharing the details in a teleconference today. We found that over the course of the past three years, PSSI employed at least 102 children in hazardous work cleaning dangerous power-driven equipment like skull splitters and razor-sharp bone saws and used caustic chemicals. It's a story we first reported earlier this year. At the time, we spoke with Audrey Lutz, who has been helping migrant children who say they've worked at one of those plants. You met them. Do they look like adults to you? I would have a hard time ever calling the people I've met with adults. Uh, they certainly look, especially the, the youngest middle schoolers, um, no way to pass as an adult. Today, in a statement, Packer Sanitation Services said, in part, our company has a zero tolerance policy against employing anyone under the age of 18 and fully shares the DOL's objective of ensuring full compliance at all locations. As soon as we became aware of the DOL's allegations, we conducted multiple additional audits of our employee base and hired a third party law firm to review and help further strengthen our policies in this area. Investigators say PSSI had previously flagged some applicants were too young, but proceeded to employ them anyway, calling these violations, quote, corporate-wide failures. Make no mistake, this was no clerical error or actions of rogue individuals or bad managers. As a result, PSSI was fined and has paid $1.5 million in penalties. Julia Ainsley joins us now. So, Julia, as we heard in your piece, the investigation notes that it was a systemic problem when it came to hiring minors. But given how many of them were employed as young as 13, could this cleaning company face any criminal charges? Well, you know, the Department of Labor today did not preclude criminal charges from coming later, but that would be announced by the Justice Department. But people I've spoken to, advocates who are representing the children, say $1.5 million is really a drop in the bucket when you consider that there were over 100 children working for this company and considering their large profit margins. Although the company, PSSI, does say that they believe these were rogue individuals who came in with fraudulent identities, people representing the kids say it was hard to mistake an 18-year-old for a 13-year-old. And Julia, I know you are just getting back to Washington after seeing one of these facilities. Yeah, that's right. I just landed. I just got back from Grand Island, Nebraska, where I got to see firsthand the first facility where the Labor Department came in in October and found 23 children working in the dead of night, cleaning up blood and animal parts off the killer kill house floor in a slaughterhouse. And what I saw just from being there firsthand is how massive this facility is and what a big operation they have, slaughtering thousands of animals a day, but that the town is so centered around this large meat processing facility. People I spoke to there said it was common knowledge that there were children working at this facility and going to school during the day. There were even some police reports where teachers and school officials said that there were children falling asleep in class because of their work overnight at the slaughterhouse, Joe. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.